everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Sarah and I'm Heather and today we have a really exciting unboxing video uh, for you today. Um, we, I, I'll kind of preface first that we're really excited about this. Um, the last time we got a new console, uh, it was when we were younger. <laughs> And it was, it was a Nintendo 64. Yes, that's how <laughs> so, old we are. <laughs> so um, we're outing our age a little bit. But um, the Mario game, we grew up with like Mario, Mario Kart. You know, those games are always so much fun. But we've not really been super big gamers. Mm -hmm. um, but we did really enjoy the Mario games. Um, and we did have a PlayStation. One of our friends was mm -hmm. uh, getting rid of it. So she's like, I'll just give it to you guys. And so that was fun. We played Spyro, things like that. Yeah. And then eventually we got the Wii for a little while. So. Yeah. But it's usually, you know, we, we don't really play a lot. But yeah. since you guys all know we're big Harry Potter fans and Hogwarts Legacy is coming out, we didn't really have a choice. <laughs> we had to buy one. <laughs> um, we're really excited about it. So we thought we'd do an unboxing today just so you can kind of see. I mean, this box is huge. And, you know, like we had mentioned, you know, I'm used to the little Nintendo 64 and I'm thinking, how big is this thing? So um, we can't wait to unbox this with you. But before we get into this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you are a PlayStation person. Or if you're looking forward to the new Harry Potter game. Yeah. Um, so without any further ado, we will go ahead and open this humongous box. Okay. You can barely see me over this box. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna take this off of there. And then, I think this box is really like humongous. And we actually ended up with the God of War Ragnarok edition. Um, this was the only one we could find. It was a little more expensive than just the regular, you know, just the PlayStation 5. But this was the only one we could find. We went so. to multiple stores and they yeah. all had this version. So that's all right. I mean, it may be a fun game, I don't know. So we don't really know anything about that game, yeah. but we wanted the PlayStation, so. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna turn it this way. And we will open this up. We were laughing because like the, the last Harry Potter game we had was the computer games. Yes, when you could so. play those on PC. Yeah. I think the first one came out in 2001. So this will be rather quite the upgrade. And you know, I think the, I think it was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix was the last computer game that we, that we played, but I couldn't figure it out. It was really hard. So, um, the, the Dementors kept getting me, so I never did get to finish it. Oh, wow. Oh, there okay. we go. Okay. Okay. Here's the instruction manual. What is that? Oh, that's a controller. Okay. Let's lift this up. Maybe. <laughs> How many Hufflepuffs does it take to open a PlayStation console? Oh, oh, what was that? That was a cord. <laughs> I did not see that. It's okay. It did not hurt anything. Uh, here's another cord. Here's some for Sheeving Guardian Leviosas, those again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Wreck-It Ralph sometimes. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, let me. This is quite delicate. It's a box within a box. So many boxes. Yeah, you can hold it still. Yeah. Wait a minute. Put these over there. Okay. There is a lot of stuff in here. I was pretty much expecting just the console and um, the controller. So okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. Wait, oh, right. So the big box is going over here. Well, at least they package it well. Yes, that's nice. Very well packaged. This is quite heavy. I should just let you do that. Got it. It's wrapped like a burrito. <laughs> and now I want lunch. Which way is up? <laughs> this way's up. Right? I think this way's up. Yeah, because it's a symbol. That's funky looking. Yes, okay, so it will set this way. Oh. Alrighty, um, this is where <laughs> the uh, discs will go in. Uh, we did decide to go ahead and get the one that you could put the discs in instead of the digital version, just because we're old school, we like to have a physical copy. Um, 
So I think, you know, either way is fine. I think the digital versions are cheaper, but we went ahead and figured if we're gonna go ahead and buy one, we might as well get one that has the, the disc in there. Um, I mean, we're old enough to remember floppy disks, so. We are really yeah. getting ourselves in this video. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know it sat up like this. <laughs> well, this is, this is the biggest console I've ever seen. Like I said, we were used to like the first Playstations that were just like this. And the disc, you know, just went in. It almost looked like a CD player. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, with the Nintendo 64, it's very compact. So this is massive. And I'm guessing it has a lot of storage for you to save things on there too. Um, so let's kind of look through here and see what we've got. What is that? I have no idea what this is. Um, so this is cool. We don't know what this is. Do you like, can you? I, I don't know. We will find out. Um, okay, this is what I've been looking forward to. This is the controller. So I'm really excited about this because apparently these controllers, um, when you do certain things in games, it like vibrates and, and you know, feels like when you're flying. Um, so I'm very excited about that. But this is a lot of different buttons. I have never played any controller that had this many buttons. I mean, there's some back here, there's some in the front, and then you've got these little joysticks. This is gonna be really fun to try to figure out how to play this, look at this. And it feels really nice in your hand though. I thought it would feel awkward with two um, of those little joysticks because the Nintendo 64 only has one. So <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna be to get used to it, but we'll have to do a little playing before. The game comes out Definitely. to make sure we know what we we're doing. Don't know what we're doing. Um, okay, so there's three different cords. This one looks like it's one that is just a regular plug-in um, that you plug into the wall for power. Oh, there's things in the back here too, like. Plugins. Oh yeah, there's like USB ports and an HDMI. Okay, that may be to hook it up to the TV because we're gonna want to hook this up to our TV. We're really excited about that. Um, right now we're playing on just a small TV, but we're gonna hook it up to our TV down here in the common room, which is... Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the Nintendo 64 is, is hooked up to the small TV yeah. because we tried to hook it up to our big TV. It did, but it's very pixelated. Yeah. Because it's, you know, it's an older game. Yeah. So I put it on my little TV and it works beautifully. It, it does. And we still continue to play it to this day. It is so much fun. We, we ended up, I don't remember exactly why, but we ended up not having it. So one year for yeah. Christmas, I got another um, N64. I love that game. And I don't know what happened to our old one. So yeah, she surprised me for Christmas. And I'm like, ah! It was great. Okay, it's just for horizontal okay. position. Yes. That's what this is for. Oh, okay. So, so is it supposed to be sitting on there? You know what, you, you have to hook it. Make sure the hooks. The hook is in the position as illustrated below, so I guess there's symbols somewhere. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's on the side of it. See? Okay. So where's the, okay, so it's gonna be this. Oh, I see the symbols, they're right this here. This way, yeah. And then you hook that, do you see it? Yeah, does it go yeah. over the symbols? It goes over the, the two squares. Oh, okay. Okay, that is specific, I've Just got place it. the console with the rear side facing up, align the base with a marked area on the console and press the base in firmly, and then you can set it horizontally. I don't know if we want to set it horizontally, but we can. At least we have that option, and then it's supposed to- I think it's on there. Yeah, and then it sets. Oh, okay. Then it doesn't take up quite so much room, I guess, standing up, but this does take up more That's space. That's more space. And it puts the disc down on the bottom, which I don't know how much I care for that. At least it's an option. It is an option. Okay. I was just trying to figure out what it was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, for the vertical position, make sure the hook is in the position is illustrated below. So you can also attach the base at the bottom so it stands up, I guess, more, okay. more uh, securely. Well, I mean, I tend to feel like I would like it up and down better, What's but that? since we have a cat, it might be better to lay it on the side. Oh, that's true. I can yeah. see her coming by trying to kiss just, it and then just- Yeah, and just fall over. Yeah. So I think we probably will leave it like this, yeah. even though visually I like it better up and down. But, 
That's I okay. don't want her to tear it up. No. It would be unintentional, but she might tear it up. Mm -hmm. Is there not a disc for Ragnarok? Like, what is, why is Ragnarok even associated with this? Oh, I wonder if it's a digital. Yeah, it is a digital version. So there is a, a scratch off um, for a pin number here and you're supposed to open an account, uh, your PlayStation account. And then from there, you can access to redeem the code to get a digital copy of the game. So um, that will be interesting to try. Uh, we've never had digital games before. Um, so this will be kind of interesting to try. Have an um, account for a game. <laughs> like I mentioned, we don't know anything about this game, so I don't know. I am not into a lot of violence at all, so I don't. This seems like it might be a little violent, but we'll we see. will see. Um, it is rated for 17 and older, so good chance I'm I not we gonna qualify. like it. <laughs> but we qualify, but I'm pretty sure I won't like it. But that's okay. Well, maybe I'll play it and see. You may like it. I may like it. She's better at even like action movies and stuff than I am. So like I mentioned before, this is your power cord that comes in the box. You also have an HDMI cord that is um, in here as well that you can plug in to your TV. Um, and then it also has a USB port um, that goes in and hooks up to your controller so you can charge it. It is a wireless controller, but it does need to be charged <laughs> um it would be really awesome if it could just be wireless and you never have to charge it but <laughs> alas we still have to do that um <laughs> quite got there yet. since we haven't played it before i don't know how long you can go uh, without charging it i have heard from other people that it's around like five hours or so but um we haven't personally tested that out yet but it would be fun to test that out uh, before we go so um also gamers I want to know, is five hours a long time to play? Yeah. I thought that sounded like a long time to play, but the person we were talking to about it was like, it's only five hours. So I'm like, is, that not, is five hours not a long time for gamers? So I'm curious, let me know. Yeah, let us know in the comments below how long you normally play when you sit down to play a game. Yeah, I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be interesting to know. So then we can kind of gauge off how, you know, how long we should be playing these games. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, we were super excited to unbox this with you guys and it, it just, it looks really cool. I love the design of this with the black and white. It just looks really sleek and very, um, I don't know, very modern and I don't, it looks like something from the future. So yeah, it looks like something out of like, I, uh, I don't know, Star Trek or something. <laughs> yeah, it just, it looks really cool. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it informative and we will see you in our next video. Bye!